mukama munje bazwe praise the lord tukome una time kitundu we are back again in this second session nga tu lambulula ebigendo bya koti ya katonda we are still elaborating on the objectives of god's court we have we have so far discussed three tutuze kuchokuna we have now moving to the fourth one ekigendele chokuna the fourth objective katonda agenda kulamula no kuteke mpisa mu buli anasigalanga mulamu god is going to judge and instill discipline in the life of whosoever will remain alive on earth that shows that others are going to die they are going to be removed, whether they like it or not only those who will humble themselves and obey like us will remain i pray that you are watching me and listening you will also humble yourself we are reading Isaiah chapter 2. Ono nyiri 11 verse 11 and 12. Okulala ambala kwa bantu kuli wanuliwa na malala ga bantu gali kutamizwa. Era mukama ikaya yagunuzwa kuluna kulolo kubanga wali bawo luna kulwa mukama wejje elibyo na ebyekuza ebiri na malala ne libo na abagulumizwa ne bali wanuliwa. The the lofe looks of man shall be humbled and the notness of men shall be bowed down and the lord alone shall be exalted in that day for the day of the lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofe and upon everyone that is lifted up and he shall be brought low praise the lord we are in the time the time of the court of god where god is going to judge all the people on earth so that he can hit them or humble them in the mighty name of jesus we are demolishing you for everyone to move away from your pride as we are also changing away from pride hallelujah hallelujah because he says that in this season whosoever is exalting himself or herself will be brought you has been knowing yourself that you are very powerful and you are seeing other people as weak those people you, you think they are weak they are also powerful in the name of jesus stop every pride because god has said that he's going to bring us low to bring us down any person that is operating in the name god is going to bring them down. god is going to discipline them to the, to instill that discipline that will make you even recognize you will start you, you will start respecting even those people you have been taking for granted when situations have come up even you whites you are going to humble yourself because when when covid came you would receive and the whites they would be kneeling on the street god just press a little button but the things that are following covid are not is a thing because what is coming is coming like a sieve kale kawo batalina malala the sieve is going to sieve out and we leave only those that have no pride my dear my fellow minister musumba munange my fellow pastor wadolina malala you have been operating in pride omanyi wasoma nyo fiore because you know that you have studied so much in theology oweleza nyu you serve so much na radio ba tv you have your tv you have your radio na moto kanene kanise nene you have big vehicles and powerful churches ba kumanyi nyo tambuda mawanga you are known everywhere you have moved nation amalala gavem stop that pride kwatagana buli muntu yenna you have to to move and be respectful and work with everyone to the leaders you have been knowing that you are very powerful you have guns you can do anything you want stop that pride in the name of Jesus. god wants all of us to move away from pride. god wants us to sit down and 
discuss with Ayaga him. Tutu kanye. He wants us to agree, sit down and agree, agree with each other. Kolanga, Whatever you do that Jesus is involved. Whatever we do glorifying God. Let the Lord be glorified. God has said that he's going to bring down the pride. I'm admonishing you. Yes, you have a Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Especially for us, Uganda, who, the nation that God has called. God is going to hit us and we shall really know who he is. But for us who have known what to do, we will not be part of that. We have humbled ourselves for us and we are doing what is telling Even us. Even among us here, we don't have that powerful man, powerful woman. Namunafu. Or weak one. We all work together. We are all powerful in the Lord. We are all weak in Him. Because we operate in His grace. That's why I'm, that's what I'm telling my my, my brothers, the pastors. My fellow ministers. All the people out there. The leader of our nation. Our Kabaka of Uganda, Watoro, Busoga, Bunyoro, the Kabakas of Toro, Busoga, Bunyoro, Abebina, all the, the political leaders. Fed let us all of us come out from pride let us do what God is telling us to do because this nation has been called by God God chose this nation people are about to start coming to this nation you'll be very surprised and you, for the people to come from abroad and they come and obey and do what they are we, we when God has come you away is very is of wisdom for you to humble yourself that we may work together let's stop pride that one I've told you God doesn't want pride the fifth objective God is going to fight and totally bring to an end every abominable thing Let's go to the book of of Second Peter. Choko bide sura ya kusatu. Second Peter chapter three. Kuba kulomuna na kutoka kumi na sato. From verse eight to thirteen. Muga na hicho no temu chera bide anga ba golanga mukama afu una kolumu ulinga miya kolukumi ni miya kolukumi jiringo una kolumu mukama wa fetaru se chia suvisa ngaba la baluoza na yeye gumi nkiri zajemuli ngatia gala monti na kubula bonna batuke mu okwenenya We are reading second Peter chapter 3 from verse 8 But beloved be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is the is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day The Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness but is long suffering to us what not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance katonda yaba darinda ko what god has been patient with or waiting for mwenna musobola okumanya that all of you may get to know muloza nti atagenda kuchikola ne muloza nti arudde you think that God is not going to do anything. He's just delaying. God can do whatever he wants to do in just one day. Anytime he may want. It was one day. When Nebuchadnezzar found himself in the bush. It was one day. When his son. When the hand of God came and wrote on the wall, that you have been weighed and you have you, you have been weighed and found not wanting in the Bible. It was one day. When Herod was hit by an angel and the maggots were coming out of him. That's why I'm saying that God's intention wants people to repent. These things we are telling to nations that everyone wherever you are repent. Verse 10. 
nebi ntuwebu wangu wa bidi sano sibwa no kwa uchibu wakunji ensi nebi kwa ebi jirimu bidi sirika but the day of the lord will come as a thief in the night in in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat and the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up the time has come when god will come suddenly on you without your he comes on a nation suddenly without their knowledge or come on earth without them knowing even Noah used to make noise like I am making noise. And no one was even attentive to me. Praise the Lord. And God himself came and closed the ark by himself. And he released the rain. When God comes and releases plagues in your home, in your house, when you will understand. And they are just to take your life. The wisdom I'm giving you is to repent. To stop all abominations in your life. Because all abominations have to be removed. But we are going to we are now still on Second Peter 3. We are on verse 11 and 12. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversations and godliness? Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens, being on the fire, shall be dissolved, and the elements shall be shall melt with fervent heat. Praise the Lord. That this time, this time is going to cause even the heavens to melt. He's not talking about the heaven. The heaven here he's talking about is the church of Christ. You are going to see the generation which has been there. That it is just going away. That all those funny, funny things are rubbish and nothing is still is going to remain. All that gospel of lying, gospel of of stealing people. You will not see it again. You will even forget them. That's why he's saying that he's going to be melted. Verse 13. Verse 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. God promised a new heaven and a new earth. The heaven representing the the church, the end time church or the, the church of the new generation. And the earth representing the people who remain and un, saved but humbled themselves to God. And they are all walking, living in righteousness. Those are the people that are going to remain on earth. If you are not ready to repent and live your life in righteousness, just write your will, prepare your grave early enough where they will bury you. Because there is no longer any jokes God wants righteousness on earth. God here was not meaning the writer in heaven. Because in heaven we are not going to find there are the earth and the heaven. There is going to be the heaven and the hell. He was meaning the last generation. He said that every abomination like the one of idol worship, witchcraft, and sorcery, killing people, fornication, immorality, drinking alcohol, and also selling alcohol, stealing people's land, 
sacrificing people sacrificing animals all those things that you do try changing changing things women who are on who put on additions on the, on their nails making their nails very long bleaching yourself moving from your color to another color putting on Many clothes or indecent dress. All those abominations. Taking bribes. Being involved in homosexuality. All those abominations. You have to know and stop them. Smoking and also smoking all all other kinds of evil things. They are all abominations before God. In Jesus. Name. Evil ruling or the way you rule the people. All that is an abomination. Calling yourself very a powerful man, a powerful woman. And you are they are now exalting you instead of people of showing people showing the god the showing the people showing them god you are showing them yourself all those abominations he has said all abominations have to be removed With men plaiting hair putting earrings men putting earrings in in your ears you listening and watching me all those abominations you judges that are taking bribes using corruption and you are mis you, you, you are judging people in a wrong way all those abominations you soldiers you are scaring people Taking breads from them. All those abominations. Taking somebody's wife, somebody's husband. All those abominations. In the name of Jesus. Taking a woman or a girl or a wife when their parents, the parents are not aware. All those abominations. Loving this one moving from one lover to another. All those abominations. We have to know which ones are abominations. For having an unbalanced way, way, weight. All those abominations. We see people who are making uh, Making bars, uh, building bars. They, instead of, of they, they keep deceiving people. They are of this weight when they have another weight. All things that you weigh and they are not in the right balance. They are all abominations. It put giving people to pay high taxes that is an abomination i have now come on teachers here in uganda you come to children you ask for rim every time another rim you ask for brooms you ask for things from children and you sell them all those things are abominations this is time to change you have to, to, to plan well and do the right calculation don't remove things from parents and take and sell them all those abominations you are doing. What is coming on you is not easy. Be careful. Taking re, taking high rent 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 money from tenants. Stealing government things. Or, or things for the for the kingdom. Maybe church church property. Or company. Or a company property. All those abominations. Whatever you do that is an abomination, stop it. Abusing people. All those abominations before God. Tribalism. Tribalism, all that is abomination. All that is abomination. 
everyone you have to check yourself and know what am i doing as an abomination according to what you have heard. And many other things that God will reveal no, And what you hear people preaching. Read the Bible. And stop every abomination you are doing. Worshipping idols. All those abominations. As the Bible said that when you see abominable things in Jerusalem. The one reading should be wise to understand. The abomination now is, is the interreligious council. You who is part of it, you are an abomination, you are an, uh, before God. You are born again and has joined the interreligious council. You have become an antichrist. It is time to move away from there and repent. And the, the Pope to come up and say it's going to change the Bible. All that is abomination. Everyone should understand which abomination am I doing. It's time to change and repent. Because the fire is coming to burn them up. You are going to have sleepless Office nights. Offices will be there. Your jobs, your notes will be there. there. Everything will become a challenge to because you. Because God is bringing fire to melt everything. It's time to repent and to change. God forgives. Confess your sin. Don't hide your sin. Because you cannot be healed. Let me give you this example as I conclude. For me, I grew in a... a, a a family of idol worship. When I knew and soon the gospel, the pastor told me when we were in the village where I was born, they had put a, they had a, brought a crusade there. The pastor told me go on the microphone and repent to all the people of the village. Repent of those things that your father used to do. And I stood on the microphone in that village and I repented. And when I went to the pastor in to my pastor in the church. And I told them, pray for me. I have been a sinner because I grew in shrines. Those are the things I grew knowing and doing. I know even my father started those shrines because he was being pressed by spirit. But I decided to stand before people and repent what I was doing. You who wants to be healed. Whether you are a pastor, come out of there. And tell the people that we have been lying to you. We have been stealing you. We had even gone as fast as we went to shrine. We have been looking for when glory. Repent. Anytime you repent, God will forgive you. You, the leader who has been uh, leading the people in a wrong way. In any nation you are. It's time to come out and tell the people forgive Let's reunite. Let's move together. Begin to put things right. Maybe you have been a leader of a company. You took somebody's wife. Or whatever you did. Go to the people and say, please forgive me. The grace of God is there. You'll be forgiven. Praise the Lord. What you cannot manage to do, come and you shall you. Begin to take back people's lands and people's Muzee land titles. Muzee take back government properties. Begin to put things right. Because the court of God has been released. The angels will come on you and you will see. The, the angels will come and, and grab you. There are those who will come to kill. You have to know that. The Lord bless you as you repent. Do not fear whatever you have done. God will forgive you.
That is what he does. God does not rejoice when someone dies in sin. Glory back to Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amina. Amen. Era Amina. Amen. Tariko, and Jacob, 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 and Jacob